Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I'm going to show you an application called Notifier for the Mac. And basically all Notifier is is an email client and basically it sits at the top in your menu bar and notifies you when you've got new emails. But also you can reply to emails, write new emails and obviously read your emails through this application. It's really lightweight, really small. And I used to be a user at Apple Mail and that's a great application but for some reason over the past few weeks I just prefer to use Notifier. So I'm going to show you what this application is all about, so let's get straight into the video. So the Notify application basically just sits up here in your, in your menu bar and will alert you when you get a new mail. So I'll start off by just showing you how to send mail from this application. So to send an email, all you would do is go on to add and write a new email out. So call this test. Sorry, type in who you send it to. I'll send it to myself for the purpose of this video. Call the subject test. Like so, send it. Takes a few seconds to send it. There it's sent. Also, I'll quickly show you while that email, this email will take about a minute to come back through. So while that email does, I'll quickly show you some of the preferences. So from here, you can tell it how often you want emails to check, how often you want the application to check for new emails. I mean, so I'll set it to one minute for the purpose of this video. But you can have two minutes, three minutes, five minutes up to half an hour but also you can set it hours if you wish so you can have every hour so on really useful it also supports growl notifications which is great also you can preview the messages within this application or within your or within the web browser I set it to this application as you can see I can even open it in my favorite mail client so I could actually open it up in mail if I wish but I find this application is adequate enough to read your emails on. Um, you got a few other um, another, a few other options here. This is how you would set up a new account. So you just go into Add, choose what type of account it is. So if it's a Gmail account, Mobile Me, Rackspace, or if you've used something else like AOL, Hotmail, or Yahoo, then you would go onto this option. So to set up a new account, just click on the one you want. Next, type in the email address, the password done and you pretty much set set up and you're ready to go also you can choose what sounds you want so when I get a new email I will get a sound like this or like this and you have some advanced settings and you can change some of the appearances and stuff but really simple so as you can see here I've got a new email as you can see this is how it will look and now we'll get a sound and this icon changes like this so then I just click on this and I can read the new email by just double clicking on it get, get the title the date and the actual email, pretty simple. Also, the email will show images if there's actually e or attachments or whatever, so you can view all that within this actual box. Once I've read it, I can reply if I wish to. Pretty simple. Type in the box, send a reply, and once I've read it, I can just mark as read. Also, you can use short keys if you wish. So if if I want to, if I've got maybe 20 emails here and I want to just mark them all as red, I've read them all, just holding Alt Command M and it's all, it reads them all for you. Up here you can see all the shortcuts by the way, which you can use. So yeah, really simple application, I don't want to go on, it, go on about it too much because there's not too much to say about it other than what I have done, but I think it's a really simple way to be notified about new emails, plus it's not just going to notify you, it also gives you the ability to read the emails and to reply to him and also send emails so it's a great little application definitely worth checking out so you can get this application from the vibalicious.com website it comes it's basically a ten dollar application but they also do a free version the ten dollar version is the pro version which has all the features the free version doesn't have quite all the features but definitely worth checking out if you don't want to pay for it try the free version but I do think it's worth the, worth the ten dollars because overall it's a great little tool to have on your Mac, and I find it very useful. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Mac related videos. Also, if you wish, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com/appscreencast. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.